Here we go. All right. Good morning. So yes, there is so much energy in the cosmos. There really is. I was exhausted, as I was saying. I was exhausted just from, it really started for me building up over the weekend. And then even last night, I just felt all that energy, salt bath, and went to bed and I slept like a rock. I really did. I don't think I moved in my bed the whole time. I think it was right there. So it is an opportunity. Really take it easy. We have five planets in retrograde, which is really affecting this energy of the moon coming in. It's Pisces. Pisces is deep. Pisces is intuitive. Pisces is sensitive. Pisces pulls all that water in. So when we go in deep, we're like really just looking at everything. That's what the sun and the moon do, right? The sun reflects into the moon. The sun is in Virgo. So Virgo is our earth. It's also asking us to look at our boundaries, look at what we're doing, look at where we are. And some of that lower vibration of Virgo is, are you good enough? Are you worthy? Are you doing it? That's the questions we keep asking ourselves. And then the Pisces has got that collective, deep, sensitive. So when we're pushing, we're really being asked to look at all of this. And then here's where it gets just really intense is all that retrograde planets, because it's pushing us back to where we were, back to look at what all that underlying energy is. So even if we feel like, okay, and I, I feel this, I've been shifting little by little, new steps coming in, but it's bringing up. Oh, is it really what you want to do? Why aren't you there yet? Where are you going to be? So it's bringing up all these questions. Saturn is one of the planets in retrograde. And it's also in Pisces. Saturn is our responsibility. <laughs> Saturn's like, why aren't you there yet? What are you doing? Where's your structures? So if you're starting to change those structures, you could feel like, oh, I'm not doing it fast enough. I got to hurry, hurry, hurry. Take a breath. Really retrograde is just asking you just to review. It's not asking you to take action. So sometimes we can feel some of that impatience. We can feel that contrast because that's what the full moon is about. It's a contrast, light and dark. So it asks you to look at the high side, low side. Sometimes we don't want to get the low side, right? And sometimes we take it all in and we take it all personally, okay? Speaking for myself, like, oh, I'm the only one feeling this. That's what creates separation. We feel like we're the only one doing it. We're separating ourselves from source when all of us are going through this, just at varying degrees. But we're all going through this energy. And so some of that can even make you feel isolated. It can make you feel depressed. It can make you feel discouraged. I was talking about that in one of my clips. Discouraged, all right? Summer's all been about that whole energy of the lion, the courage, the heart. But when we have discouraged, we're taking out our heart. We're separating out. So we want to come back into the heart. We want to come back in and recognize that life doesn't always move like one step at a time. It's step, we know this from a kid, right? We fall, we get back up, we crawl, we get back up, we walk, we fall. We forget as humans, right? We forget that it is baby steps. So if you are trying to make big changes, and some of us are, right? I'm in there. Take it easy with yourself. Have some grace for yourself and just really kind of look back. I would say even go back to the beginning of summer. That's what the podcast is this week. It's just kind of reviewing. Go back to the beginning. And that will help you see your growth. And then we honor the growth, even if we're not exactly where we want to be. All right. And I know for me, patience, <laughs> patience is a big thing. Summer teaches us patience, but we have to remind ourselves. All right. All those little steps will add up, even if we're not exactly where we want to be. So we just keep doing the work, reviewing, renewing. And one of the things that can really help during this time period is to clean up, clean up, clean out, clean out clutter, clean out junk, clean out paper. I'm a paper collector. So it is a good idea to really kind of just straighten stuff up, get rid of stuff, because what does that also do is it makes room for all the new energy that will come in during the fall. It's also a good idea right now to really take care of your body, right? Virgo, earth, body. Cut your hair, right? We talk about this. Mert will call you out. Yay, go see Mert. Do your nails, do your hair, do your skin, scrub it. Just really make yourself feel so much better because that will replenish how you show up. So it is a good idea, especially late summer. Also check in with your diet, all right? Late summer where we are working on, on our, our digestion, our elimination, our letting go. So really just kind of check in. You know, watermelon this time of year is really cooling and calming. So just being careful of, of what your choices are is going to help you move through. At the height of the moon, which actually doesn't come until tonight, and I usually like to do it right on the full moon, but the energy's there and we were all feeling it. And so many people reach out to me like, what's going on? So I did want to just bring that in. But the beautiful part is as this light's growing all through the day, I think don't think it gets full to like 830 tonight. 
continue to realign with your intentions. Go back to your journal. What did you set out under the new moon? Also, because it is the second full moon of the month, all right, this creates that mystical energy. This creates that 13th moon of the year. Sometimes you go, how do we get 13 in? Well, this is how. Go back to the beginning when we had that other full moon and just look at that cycle from the full, dark, new, here we go again, fall. And we're all in August. Yes, September comes very soon. So notice for you what it is. We'll take a few minutes to just kind of write down, you know, and maybe as, as you go through, like I see if you hear like, oh, maybe this one didn't work. That's okay. Cross it out, write something else. But offer yourself the opportunity to bring this energy in really for your highest good. No judgment, no right or wrong. We're all just moving along. This is what we're here for, growing, finding our path. Sometimes we as humans want to have it happen faster, as I've said. But you know what? Divine timing. There is such a thing as divine timing. I will pull a few cards as we move through the meditation as well. All right. So let's begin. Let's start with bringing in the elements. Finding something to light, candle, sage, incense, or I'll light it for you, a little Palo Santo for the sweetness of this season. So just taking a nice deep inhale, as we call in the sacred elements, reminding us we are all from these beautiful elements, fire to inspire us, air to cleanse the mind, take a breath, breathe it in, clear the space. Calling in the element of water, which is that Pisces energy. And just imagine a waterfall standing under a waterfall. Let it begin to just flow through, moving. No emotion is ever final. We can feel like it during the full moon. And then we call in the element of earth, honoring the Virgo energy, Mother Earth, grounding, centering, honoring our physical body as well. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, just call all your energy into you. Call it in, call in your spirit. Feel the spiritual body right on top of the physical body. Just feel everything aligning, centering, slowing down. Taking another deep inhale, breathing up the body. And as you exhale, dropping into the heart. Right in the deepest part of the heart, Feel that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Just take a moment right there. Know that you are known. Know that you are loved, supported, guided. Take comfort in that feeling right here, deep in your heart. Let us call in the masters, the teachers, the archangels, the crystal beings. Calling in your own spirit guides. Just feel all this energy coming in to help that support the guidance, help you receive the messages you need as we take this time to honor the cosmic forces, noticing where you are on this great wheel of life and this late summer energy, we're moving through that direction of the south, almost there to cross into the new directions, but we take this time noticing the growth. Growth isn't always easy. Growth can scare us. Growth can make us feel vulnerable, raw. I know I'm there right now, but we just embrace it. We allow, we stand on the edge. Know that we have support. Everything is breaking down. All those outer planets moving around, structures are changing in the world. Truth is being revealed. It can shake us up. That's why we ground. That's why we center. That's why we come right here back to that God spot. Notice where you are. Just imagining that beautiful moon. The sun is rising. The moon is there. The stars, the cosmic forces of energy guiding you. We all have a beautiful, unique blueprint. Say that again. A beautiful, unique blueprint. Born under the stars, we bring in this vibration, this power of who we are. And now, as we hear, we allow, calling in all the directions to surround us and protect us to the south, the west, the north, and the east, above us, 
below us, right in the very center. Just feel that allowing, feel that loving for you. Yes, life can feel hard right now. It really can. But we also can find that flow. Pisces reminds us that flow of water. Where are you in this flow? Holding it up, resisting it, going with it, going over the bumps, the waves, somewhere in between. It's okay. Just notice, no judgment. So open up the radiant light and then we'll set some intention. So just breathing up the body, just opening up that channel all the way from the earth through the first chakra, through the crown, up into the higher realms. And just exhale all the way back down, calling in that absolute light, streams of grace, just moving through, helping you to move any stuck energy all the way first chakra, legs, feet deep into the earth, expanding this light within you. Inhale, breathing up the body. And exhale all the way back down. And now from the heart, just opening the breath all around you, opening the auric field, moving the energy, pull it in, just like the breath. It moves, it opens, it expands, bringing it back in. Inhaling up the body, exhaling down, inhaling all around. Exhaling, coming back in. And now as you take this next breath, just imagine it coming right from the womb, your force of energy, your evolution. Inhale from the womb into the heart, pausing in the heart, and then exhaling right through the solar plexus, your power. I am here. Inhale, expanding from the womb into the heart. Exhaling right through the solar plexus. Feel that power, your power. Clearing the energy as you do. Inhale, breathing up from the womb into the heart, pausing in the heart. And then exhale right through the solar plexus. One more time, inhaling. And exhaling. As you move through that exhale, feel that connection. Yourself, your power, your inner child. I am here with you. Feel the strength that comes forward from that. And now let's just take a moment as we open up with this beautiful cosmic force of energy, what your intentions are. What energy do you want to set out into the world? I'm just taking a moment, writing down, noticing, Maybe taking a moment, reviewing what you wrote, the new moon, the last full moon, these cycles will come around. The alignment of energy I heard on one of my astrologers for where we are right now, all this work we're doing in two years, it'll come right back around, all cleared out, but the same alignments will come back forward. What can you set in motion? Just take a moment, think about that. We don't always have to reach for tomorrow. We can be present and open up the energy to be guided through this force of light. Each one you write down, just breathe. Feel the energy of how you want to feel. It's the emotional energy that we put out. Bring it right from the heart. Dream big. Let your thoughts create amusement. Let those feelings overtake you with possibility.
Now, as you write these down, use your symbols if you know them. Some Reiki into it as you write them. Take a breath, a few more moments. I'll continue to send Reiki out to your hearts. And just each one, as you read it again, just breathe it from your heart. Feel those possibilities, see those possibilities, hear the messages that come in for those possibilities. No, trust. Take a deep inhale. Exhale. Drawing a few cards for guidance for what's underneath. So the Hierophant is the first card. I always love this card. It reminds us to come into ourselves. It reminds us we are our spiritual teachers. Yes, you can use guidance. You can seek help. That's always a great thing. But always remember, it's what works for you. It's what your path is. It's allowing yourself to meet you where you are. You hold the keys. Bring them into you. The sun, the moon, everything is right there for you. Bring that wisdom forward. It does take getting quiet. It does take going within. So when you find yourself in that little separation or doubt or fear, take a breath, put a timer on five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever it is for you, and just breathe and meditate until you feel that energy dissipate, till you feel you come back in to you, to source. Beautiful card for right now. None of that searching out there, searching out there. Then we got the sun. All right, that powerful sun energy. It's reminding us, solar plexus, our power, our light. It's also a success card. So it's coming up to show you, look at your successes for the summer. Look at what you have done. Yes, there's always more to do. But this is success. Paths are opening up. The sun is shining. Sun is shining on your back door. Trust, it will light up for you. Judgment, all right, let it all go. This is the phoenix rising. This is all about all that transformation coming forward. So if you're judging yourself, it's not happening fast enough. It's not, let it rise. Divine timing is always working for us. Take a breath. Notice where that comes up for you. And then the beautiful card, the last one, I've got all these major cards. This is the nine of earth, which things is still growing. Things are still building. Summer's not over. So all of the growth, even if you feel frustrated, okay, I know I can. Things are still building in a nice way, aligning deep with the earth, growing, keep going. Don't get discouraged. Perfect card. So notice where these hit for you. Notice where you can shift and realign. Take some time today to go in to pull all of these elemental forces within you and trust. Inhaling, breathing up the body and exhale right back into the heart. And right in the very deepest part of your heart, just gather all of these intentions. Gather them up. Pull all that emotional love and light. What is that highest vibration that you seek from these intentions? Pull it in, breathe it in, breathe it in, breathe it in. Hold the breath in the heart, in the heart, in the heart. And then exhale right from the heart. I shine my light with all of these intentions surrounding me. And again, inhaling into the heart. 
exhaling out of the heart, I shine my light. Just sending those intentions all through the org field, aligning your energy, resetting, realigning. We're in retrograde, renewing, lifting it up, inhaling and exhaling. Let's just tap it right through the body, bring it into the physical form at the eyebrows, the cheeks, nose and chin, collarbone. Let's get the thymus underneath the armpits. And then say your intention. What is that affirmation for you? I am, I am, I am ease, I am love, I am free. I am joy, whatever it is for you. Continue saying it. I am setting that vibration in the body. I am. I am. I am. And again. I am. Reaffirm it. I am. Last time. I am ease, I am light, I am love, I am fun. Come to the karate chop point. Just choose to love and accept yourself no matter what. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down, grounding with Mother Earth. Taking the right hand over the left shoulder, just crossing over, giving yourself some self-love. I love you, I love you. Thank you for showing up. I love you, I'm sorry, thank you. Just feel the love for yourself coming in. Nice big hug and squeeze, releasing all judgment, just love. Exhaling out, inhaling up the body, exhaling all the way down. So go to close, bringing the hands to the heart, taking a moment of gratitude, gratitude for all the cosmic forces that keep us moving through life, that keep change coming, reminding us of who we are. Reminding us we are spiritual beings in a physical body. We go through the ups and downs of life's ins and outs, but here we are right now. Gratitude for the spirit. Gratitude for the connection to the greater spirit. Gratitude for showing up for you. Inhaling and exhaling all the way down, deep into the earth, grounding, centering, bringing the awareness back opening the eyes, coming back. All right, take this energy out. Be easy with yourself today. Lots of water, process the emotions as they arise. Have a great day. Happy full moon coming in.